hell is visiting me? I don't have... Oh. <laughs> Hello beautifuls, this is Romy here and welcome back to Dark Nights. We are here, I believe, heading home. I think, I don't know, it's a brand new day of recording, so I don't know. On my way to the lockers, I find a handkerchief on the ground. Its fancy design catches my attention, so I pick it up. There is a name embroidered on it, Royal K. I do not recognize it. Obviously. We know who it is. But, a handkerchief? This looks important. I should bring it to the Lost and Found office. Hey, that is mine. <sighs> Raya, you don't have to show up like like that with all your beauty a guy stands behind me so tall that i look that i have to look up at him i notice his uniform design he is not a regular student i hand over the handkerchief when he reaches out for it roya how do you ah my handkerchief <laughs> thank you for returning this miss michiko how how does he know our name we haven't met him in this route have we met before who knows? Okay. Roya shows a mysterious grin and leaves. I stare at his back until he disappears from sight. I have never met this guy before. How does he know me? He is also the first elite student I have ever seen walking around school. I wonder why he is here of all days. Elite students sure are peculiar. How does he know me? I'm home. It is quiet when I enter my house. There is no answer, so I assume Kirito has gone out. I drop my bag and decide to head for the kitchen to prepare tea. It's always It always calms me down after a long day. I pass by the living room and freeze, hearing soft breathing coming from the couch. Oh, He's so tired. Upon stepping closer, I notice that Kirito is laying there, or lying there, his sleeping face looking peaceful. He must have worked hard today. I should let him be. At least we got a CG art. When I return, Kirito is already sitting up reading. He looks up from his newspaper. He woke up so quickly. Did I disturb you? No, I had a good nap. I just made tea. Let me get you some. Kirito smiles appreciatively when I hand him a cup. I sit next to him and glance at what he is reading. It occurs to me that there are things about him I have yet have to confirm. It was written on his badge that he attends the same school as me. Say, Kirito, do you really never attend class? What class are you in? Normally, you'd get a penalty for being absent. Mm, let's see. I think people call it the elite class or something. I almost spit out my tea after upon hearing his answer. What? So you really aren't... Why are you so surprised? B because you look normal to me. What do you mean? His outfit isn't like the clothes that me or Ikuya... Ikuya, right? Or Leoji wears. It's different. <laughs> Was that supposed to be a compliment? I thought all the elite students were supposed to be peculiar, although nothing's really normal these days. I'm curious, I hardly ever seen, see them at school, and I'd rather hear what they're like from you than the rumors. I don't know, I haven't met, any, I haven't met everyone yet. Most of them were absent from the first day. If everyone else is skipping class, so why wouldn't I? You don't even know your own classmates? I just said, it's not that I don't believe you, I just find it a bit strange. I guess they have their reasons. Mm, I do remember someone. There's this one guy named Chain. He's an investigator like me, so I've seen him around. So, he's... Chain's an investigator. Do you guys get along? Sorta, of, but we're more like rivals. He's kind of reserved, doesn't talk a lot. You can say we're opposites, personality-wise. You'll get it if you meet him. Psh, I bet he's a taunt just like- A tront, sorry. <laughs> just like you. Speaking of your classmates, do you know a guy named Roya? A flicker of recognition crosses his face. He must be familiar with the name. Roya? Is he in my class? I'm not sure. Kirito frowns lost in thoughts. Even with a student from the elite class sitting beside me, I'm not close to getting, getting answers. You should interact more with your classmates. Yes, mom. I'm just trying to get you to socialize. Psh, you don't exactly look like a social butterfly either. Maybe you should take your own advice. Don't change the subject. We're talking about you. Why don't you talk? Or why don't you talk to an elite student yourself if you're so interested? I'm talking to one of them though. 
Technically, yeah, you're one. You said you were one. We spend the rest of the afternoon talking about school. Kirito has been in the elite class since I was a first year. He's been too lazy to attend class during that time and was hardly ever around, which explains why I did not recognize his face when we first met. I have to admit, I wouldn't go to class either if the same rules applied to us. Kirito also mentions that we met once when we were younger, but I cannot recall it. It must have been a very long time, or a long time ago. Or he just did not make a very large impression. I try to ask more about it, but Kirito waves it off as a fun fact and says nothing else about it. Okay. Ugh, I didn't think you were actually serious. You should always take me seriously. Kirito rubs his head, looking around uncomfortably. I place my hands on his back and push him forward. Where is your uniform, by the way? Um, either I lost it or it's collecting dust in my locker, which I've forgotten the combination to. And the number. And its general location. What kind of an investigator is this? I look at him with narrowed eyes. I question how he even got accepted into such an exclusive class. Same. Their image totally does not fit Kirito. Maybe I had a wrong idea about elite students in general. I walk Kirito to his classroom since he cannot remember where that is either. It feels like I'm showing a transfer student around. After we take a turn in the hallway, I accidentally bump into someone. I stumble, but Kirito catches me before I hit the ground. Hey, Chain. It's rare to see you here in school. He is so, like, his vibes makes me feel like I can't approach him. Like, it's not approachable. Like, his, his just, his aura. <laughs> makes sense if you barely show up. Rubbing my head, I glance up to face this tall person in front of me. His light blue eyes look down into mine. His cold stare gives me the chills, yet his gas mask is strange enough to draw my attention away from his eyes. This must be the person Kirito talked about yesterday. He looks more like a laboratory worker than a student. Sorry for bumping into you. It's fine. His deep voice is distorted due to his mask. It sounds creepy. If I were alone with him, I would not stay around for too long. Kirito moves forward and pats Chain on the, sh on the shoulder. So, what are you doing here? Chain glances down at Kirito's hand and steps away from him. Just some business. You? Well, this kid's forcing me to attend class. At the comment, I puff out my cheeks and glare at Kirito. He had said it in a joking tone, but Chain just keeps quiet, not finding it funny. There is not much for you to do here, though. The target has escaped. Target? Kirito just nods in response. His expression... Expression? Expression? His expressing unchanging. After those words, Chain takes his leave. Hmm, that sounded like something important. I wonder what Chain meant, but I doubt Kirito will tell me about it. Why was Chain wearing gas mask in school? It's not like the air here is bad. I don't know, might be a fashion choice. Maybe. The elite student's classroom is located in a different part of the school building. Even though there is no one in the hallways, it feels awkward standing around when I have no business being here. Kirito, not wanting me to leave, asked me to keep, keep him company for a short while. I only say yes to satisfy my curiosity. I expect the classroom to be completely empty, but a lone boy sits in the corner, a bug in his hands. Oddly enough, he does not look older than 14. I look back at Kirito in confusion. Did we enter the wrong classroom? You look confused, but you're in the right place. I remember my classroom, at least. It's usually pretty empty. That boy is Kaichi, by the way. He looks young enough to be in elementary school. Wait, have we met him? Have we met you? <laughs> After abruptly putting his book down, the boy stands up and starts walking towards us. He's gonna tell me he's not 14. <laughs> when he stops in front of me, I notice he's even shorter than I am. I can hear you. The answer is no, I'm just physically 14. And I am an elite student. Kachi answers all my questions at, when, at once with a straight face. Even Kirito remains speechless. Then how old are you? Don't gossip about your seniors. Whoa, you're a senior? <laughs> or make random assumptions. Go back to your own classroom. This place is only for the elite. He turns to Kirito who's standing beside me. And you. If you're staying, don't disturb me. I'm reading something important. The boy shoots me a fierce look that makes me freeze in place before he returns to his seat. Kirito, did you hear that? Kirito chuckles, patting my shoulder. Don't take it personally. Kaichi's always like this. I didn't mean to offend Kaichi. He must have a bad impression of me now. Honestly, though, these elite people are weird. That boy. You should go back to your classroom. Thanks for accompanying me this far. I'll pick you up once classes are over. 
Actually, you can just wait for me by the lockers. It's not like I'm embarrassed, but if Kirito comes to pick me up, my friends, especially Ikuya, will have endless questions. Maybe I'll introduce Kirito to them another day, when the time is right. Alright, if you say so. Bye. After classes, then I immediately head to the lockers, which seemed more crowded than usual. There was a group of people surrounding something, but I cannot see what. Even Ikuya is there. There are too many people, I can't find Kirito. Are you a transfer student? I've never seen you before. I move closer to see what is going on and instantly recognize Kirito in the center of the crowd. I cannot miss his dark beanie. Well, what has he done to attract so, many, so much attention? Just because he is a normal looking elite student? Ugh, how do I reach him? The moment Kirito sees me, he smiles and starts pushing his way through the crowd. I self-consciously step back, trying to make myself stand out less, then turn around and walk out of the school. <laughs> Chico, you left so quickly, what's wrong? Wait, don't tell me you're jealous. Jealous of what? <laughs> jealous of what? I'm just trying not to get the attention oops. Attention all on me, alright, buddy. I felt like I was so far away from my computer. Why should I be? Kirito chuckles at my reaction as he walks beside me. So had any fun in class? Mm, Kaichi and I were the only ones around. I was stuck with that brat the whole day. It wasn't fun at all. Why don't you try to socialize with him? Who wants to be friends with a sharp-tongued little bookworm? Not a fan of children? Not when they glare murderously at me. I can hear you. Oh my god, why are you here? <laughs> we both turn around to find Kaichi behind us, glaring with the same look Kirito was just talking about. I did not notice him at all. How long have you been walking behind us? Just for a short while, it's not like I'm following you. I'm going to the public library, which is also in this direction. I see you're still gossiping about your seniors. How old are you? It seems like you didn't take my word seriously. You're not even worth talking to. So sassy. He stares at us blankly. I do not know if Kaiji was speaking to the both of us or just me. The awkward air between us feels as thick as a brick wall. Kirito and I stand there, not knowing what to say, while Kaiji just keeps walking and ignoring us. All right. I feel the tension fading away as he turns the corner. Cute as he is, he can be rather gloomy and difficult to handle. When you reach home, I settle on the living room couch and start doing my homework. Kirito just sits beside, besides me, browsing through a newspaper like he has nothing better to do. Don't you need to study for the upcoming exams? Nah, no, that'd be boring. Besides, I've already memorized everything I need to know for them. Well, genius. Since you have nothing to do, can you help me with history? Uh, sure. What's your question? There is a legend about the school of ghosts. What do you know about it? Hmm, that one's... Kirito rubs his chin while looking down at my textbook. His eyes glint up after a moment. Something must have come to mind. Part of this story is real. The ghost of a boy sometimes appears around the school at night. So you believe ghosts exist? Who knows? They might even be around right now. Do you? Hmm... The doorbell rings before I can answer. Putting my textbook aside, I stand up to check it out. Who the hell is visiting me? I don't have oh. <laughs> I was about to say I don't have visitors. I open the door to see Chain standing outside. That honestly is scary. His unusual appearance startling me a bit. Um, can I help you? I'm looking for Kirito. Hey bro, how did you know I was here? The man in question suddenly appears behind me, a cheeky grin on his face. Chain crosses his arms and raises an eyebrow, as though to say the answer should be obvious. Chain pointedly looks at me, drawing Kirito's gaze. Chico, mind giving us a sec? We're gonna talk about confidential work. Saying no is not really an option, so I leave them be. However, I cannot let this chance to eavesdrop slide, so after closing the door, I hang back around the corner. Leaning against the wall, I can vaguely make out their conversation. Why didn't I just go, like... Pretend to go upstairs, but then not really, and I'm there. Don't let your guard down. Something big might happen soon. Things are going according to the schedule, then. Thanks for the warning. So how's the target? Can't find him. Nah, he must be pretty skilled to escape from you. You should be cautious. I didn't expect them to show up at school. I should patrol that area, too. Whatever you want. By the way, there's something I want you to do for me. It goes silent for a moment. Kirito starts whispering, but I'm too far to... Freaking hear it! Clearly, I try to move a little closer, but then he speaks up again. The murderer is always slipping past us. I'm starting to think there might be more of them. It's been so easy for them, too. It's like they're always one step ahead of us. Do you think one of our own is involved? 
Kirito's words are intriguing. I'm all with the investigators. Investigators. If that is the case, then who can be trusted? I hear nothing except Chain's deep sigh. The sound a bit, a, a bit creepy through his cast mask. Even if it's one of our own, I won't hesitate. I know you won't. You never stray from your goals. I wish I had your resolve. Okay. Just then I hear the door opening. Chain must be leaving. I quickly head for the couch, grabbing my textbook and pretending to write something down. And this is where I'm going to stop for today's episode. Because I think it's a good stopping point. But anyway. Are they are they talking about Roya? I feel like they're talking about Roya. That Roya is on the bad side. And he keeps slipping away. And the fact that when I mentioned Roya. Um, what's his name? Kirito. Like had a faint knowledge of him. But played it off as like he doesn't know him that well. So I feel like maybe Roya is on the wrong side or who knows who's who's on the right side or wrong side but anyway thank you guys for watching today's episode stay beautiful and i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>